All right, for this example, we're going to have a look at an uh, infinite series where we have a, a variable x involved. OK, so first of all, let's just look at, uh, let's just expand this out a little bit. Uh, x to the 0 is 1. x to the 1 plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth, x to the fifth, and so on. All right, you can think of this as an infinite polynomial. It's a polynomial that doesn't stop. Now you may notice that this is the if this is the fits the form of the infinite geometric series. Remember that the infinite geometric series converges, if we had a little r right there, converges when r is between negative 1 and 1. So now we have an x there. Let's put the x. So it converges only when x is between negative 1 and 1. So what does that mean? That means that when you compute f of 1 half, this gives you an actual number. So if you put, if you put, uh, if you put x between negative 1 and 1 in here, remember this equals 1 over 1 minus x. So f of a half is going to be 1 over 1 minus a half, which is 1 over uh, 1 half, which is 2. But if you put in f of 2, it diverges. If you put in f of 2, it diverges. So when we say interval of convergence, the interval of convergence is the domain. All the values that make sense to go into this function. So for the infinite geometric series with an x in for r, since it only converges between negative 1 and 1, the domain of our function, our infinite polynomial, um, its interval of convergence is this interval, negative 1 to 1. 